Hello and welcome to the fourth video on getting started with beam reinforcement. In this session, we will delve into the stirrup placement in the beam. A stirrup is a reinforcing bar that is used to hold the main reinforcement bars in place and provide shear reinforcement. In the stirrups river window, there are two tabs. The layout tab lets you define the number of stirrup rows the replacement along the beam and offset from the beam ends. In the settings tab, you can select common settings, such as view visibility or partition. In the layout tab, use the new item button to insert as many rows as required. The adjacent buttons move a row up, down or remove it. The stirrup settings are presented in a two-part table to prevent it from being too wide. The top part includes rows for rebar type, shape and stirrup dimensions, while the bottom part continues these settings with additional layout details. Let's go through the available settings. First, we need to select structural rebar type. Bar Shape tab allows to select from available stirrup shapes described in the image shown at the bottom of the window. Under Reference Bars, pick the row position of the main rebar. You can tie selected bars of that row. Under the first second bar tab, we have the numbers of the main rebar in the selected row position, continuing from left to right. Select bar numbers to be tied to the selected stirrup shape. For example, if you select bottom 1 and define that an O-shaped stirrup should go around first and second bars, then the stirrup will tie them and go up to the top cover of the beam. Rebar Start or N hook type allows to choose hook types for stirrup ends. If you extend to the top, the stirrup will go up the outside beam by a defined distance. Anchorage length defines how far U-shaped inverted stirrup should go into the beam. This applies exclusively to U-shaped inverted stirrups. Now we can select the layout type for the selected stirrups. There are three options to set layout type. The first one step allows the addition of one set of rebar within a defined distance of the beam. Parameter L1 defines the start offset of the stirrup layout. This value, together with L2 and L3, is relative to beam length. It will work only if the value is greater than start offset. L2 defines length of stirrup layout. 1 equals full length of the beam. L3 defines end offset of stirrup layout. It will work if the value is greater than end offset. Only step L2 is active for this layout type, which sets the distance between stirrups. Offset at start is a distance between beam start face and the first stirrup, while offset at end is a distance between beam end face and the last stirrup. Bars can be centered in the region defined with offset at start and end parameter if you tick the box. This parameter is available only for the one-step layout rule. The three steps layout rule allows the addition up to three sets of free bars that may have different steps in each set. The following parameters L1, L2, L3 are distances for stirrup layout at the start, middle and end of the beam accordingly. All three values are relative to length. Step L1, L2, L3 allow to define the distance between stirrups in the corresponding areas. One bar layout rule adds one rebar set with a defined number of bars. L1 and L3 defines which beam end will be taken into account when considering stirrup placement. If L1 is set to 1, 
Then layout will begin from the start of the beam and value L3 will change to 0. If opposite, then stirrups will start from the end of the beam. L2 defines the number of bars in the stirrup set. Step L2 sets the distance between these stirrups. For every one bar set, different start or end offset distances are required. In the next video, we will explore support rebars. Thank you for watching. Till the next time.